Ever pondered how molecules form? A typical image that comes to mind is atoms of different elements linking up like dance partners twirling in a grand ballroom. But what if we told you there are dances where the partners are, well, themselves? Intriguing, isn't it? This, dear listener, is the world of molecules of elements. Imagine a grand ballroom filled with elements waiting to dance. Some, like the noble gases helium and neon or metals like mercury, prefer to dance solo. They exist as single atoms content in their own company. But the dance floor isn't just for solo acts. Now, picture elements like oxygen, nitrogen and hydrogen. They choose to dance with partners but the twist is their partners are none other than themselves. Yes, they form molecules consisting of only atoms of the same element. The secret to their dance? Sharing. They share their electrons, creating a magnetic pull that draws the atoms together, holding them in a strong and stable bond. But the dance formations aren't always a couple's waltz. The number of atoms in a molecule of an element can vary. For instance, oxygen atoms usually pair up to dance, forming O2. But under special conditions, they can form a triad resulting in ozone or O3. Nitrogen gas or N2 is another common example of a paired dance. Yet some elements, like phosphorus, prefer a grander spectacle, forming complex structures with several atoms linked together. While these molecules of elements might seem similar to molecules formed from different elements, there's a key distinguishing feature. Molecules of elements are like an exclusive dance troupe, only containing one type of atom. In contrast, molecules formed from different elements are like a mixed troupe, with at least two distinct types of atoms. Many of the elements essential for life are stars of this same element dance. The oxygen we breathe, the nitrogen that fills most of Earth's atmosphere, and even the hydrogen that fuels the sun, all exist as molecules of elements. So, understanding molecules of elements isn't just a chemistry footnote. It's a vital part of understanding how elements behave under different conditions and their role in various processes, from the chemistry of our atmosphere to the fuel that powers the sun. So the next time you think about molecules, remember, not all dances are duets. Some are solo acts, some are couples, and some are grand ensembles. Each dance, each molecule plays a significant role in the grand scheme of things. And that, dear listener, is the fascinating world of molecules of elements.